do not adjust your Twitch stream. You are here Saturday, here with us live on Syndicate Championship Wrestling Saturday Showdown. I am your hostess with the mostess, Shaggy Black. We are here. We are here. It is another Saturday. Thank you all for tuning in. And this is the fallout from SCW's Cradle from the Grave. Pro quite possibly one of our best pay-per-views we ran all this year. Probably next to my favorite to Malice in Wonderland, our first pay-per-view this year. But there have been some new champions crowned and some new poss like new possibilities started and old ones have ended as we see our first match of the evening will be the Black Dragon Adrian Angel of one half of the former SCW Tag Team Champions the Awakening will be taking on the one new one half of the SCW Tag Team Champions and Alex Perez of the Nightmare Connection. And the Nightmare Connection pretty much coming up big at the pay-per-view SCW Cradle to the Grave, which you can go back and watch on this Twitch stream. I highly recommend it if you haven't. Hell of a match. This hell of a contest we had on there. But now we open up for another Saturday as the Awakening makes their entrance one half of the awakening anyway the following contest is scheduled for one fall making his way to the ring representing the alliance from sao paulo brazil weighing in at 223 pounds Adrian, the Dragon Angel. Adrian Angel eating the pinfall at the pay-per-view at Cradle to the Grave against the man he is facing in Alex Perez, costing him the SCW Tag Team Championships in a wild opening contest in a tornado tag team match between the Nightmare Connection and the Awakening. That that possibly that match probably one of my favorite tag team matches of the year. Both men with James Lee and Adrian Angel did what they could to stop the Awakening. Stop the Nightmare Connection, excuse me. But they could not surpass the veteran team that is the Nightmare Connection. And speaking of which, here comes the new tag champion now. And his opponent representing the Brotherhood from Austin, Texas. Weighing in at 195 pounds. One half of the tag team champions. Yeah. Alex Perez. Alex Perez making his way down to the arena with the new SCW tag team title in his hand as he picked up the win last Saturday at Cradle to the Grave, pinning the man he's facing today in, Ad in Adrian Angel. Both men have a history and actually quite possibly have gone down having probably one of the matches of the year candidates here in SCW back when Adrian Angel was known as AAA and he donned his Lucha mask. But as you see here, the nightmare never ends as the nightmare connection walking in with gold. But let's see if Angel can get his get back against the death proof Alex Perez in what could have, what could be a hell of an opening contest here in the SCW Showdown. Again, thank you all for tuning in. Thanks, chat, for tuning in. And the bell is rang, and here we go. Alex and Angel in the ring again. And I'm not going to lie, every time I see these these two together in a ring, I, I get goosebumps because I know both these men are going to put on a show. Right now, Angel, however, getting the best of Alex. Showing off early. And Alex looking to get that momentum back, and he does. They... 
they slide there. And Angel scouting that out. Both these men, of course, champions in their own right. Alex, of course, from some people don't realize Alex Perez is is like is one of SCW's Grand Slam champions, having won the SCW Championship, two-time tag team champ, three-time tag team champion, excuse me, and two-time SCW Pure champion. And that kind of that that kind of veteran presence, that savvy veteran presence, is probably what kept Alex going in the in this pay-per-view contest Saturday, but it doesn't look like it's doing him any favors now as Angel has pretty much had the momentum here. And what's Alex doing? Alex with a drop kick from the middle rope. My goodness. What a maneuver. And Alex trying to get the momentum back in his corner. By taking out Angel early, and he's going for an arm breaker. Will he get it? Yes! He gets it. A lot of people tuning in today. Thank you. You could be watching other programs, but we definitely appreciate you joining us here. As a chat, and we got a pinfall. Alex, one, two, kick out at two. Again, you had other opportunities to watch other things. And what's Alex doing? Alex going up to the top rope. Alex with a frog splash. Circa Eddie Guerrero, one, two, kick out at two. And Alex is, can't believe it. He is beside himself. Not getting that, not getting that pinfall. But the frog splash. And Angel goes for a drop kick to the knee and continues his onslaught. Ladies and gentlemen, again, our main event of this evening, you will see a fatal four-way eliminator match determining who will be facing Landon Kelly next week for the SCW Television Championship. And that will have Hannibal Hatcher, Little Bill, Isaac Murphy, and Dr. Antonio Hurt. Winner of that match will go on and face out, it's like will go on and face Landon Kelly for that television championship. And all four men had had impressive had had a press of pay-per-view showing. But right now, what is Alex, what is Alex Perez planning? It looks like Angel stops him before he can get started. And I see the chat noticing the frog splash that Alex Perez was doing. Notice that's a different variation of the frog splash, buddy. You gotta, you gotta stay tuned in that. But not like frog splashes aside it looks like angel has now got the momentum back into his corner with the knee the ripcord knee on the attack and he's just having the amountable attack on alex perez here looks like the momentum has shifted back into angel and angel's doing what he can here to keep alex down but alex sprouts up and tries to go for a knee strike of his own and angel counters both men have had hell of a contest against each other and I want to say they won and they know each other very well. But Angel going for that submission maneuver and doesn't get it. Alex reverses. And Alex going for the could be going for that blackout in the corner. What's he doing? He's sending Angel to another corner. He's rushing. Blackout! He's got that elbow. Will he get it? Blackout stomp! Delivered! And there's a pinfall. One, two. Kick out at two. Alex Perez almost putting away Angel. And now he's going for that repeat. Could be the end. Is nine, but he misses. Angel gets out of the way. Angel going for that combination DDT. Like I said, these two know each other so well. Looks like Alex, however, got the advantage. Oh, what a, what a maneuver. And Angel goes for one and misses as well. Both men trying to help Lucha the other. As Angel looks at the ground, Alex Perez, and he's got him. He's got a pinfall. One, two, kick out at two. And Alex doing what he can here to try to get the momentum back, but Angel keeping that momentum going. And Angel could be going for that submission maneuver, but he doesn't get it. Alex reverses. And Angel, back. this is a back and forth contest that I knew would be coming from both these men. 
both these men very like known as lucha libre style wrestling alex more of a violent oh no he's got he's got that black dragon slayer and it's locked in will angel will alex tap will alex tap and he does alex perez taps to the black dragon slayer and your winner adrian angel putting away death proof alex perez now, folks are wondering why he couldn't do that in a tag team match this past weekend. Well, it is called a tag team for a reason. And unfortunately, his partner couldn't get up to break up the pinfall. But hey, he gets his get back victory. And as this pushes the momentum and what possibly could see as a redemption tour to get those tag team belts back around Here the Awakening's the waist. Adrian the Dragon Angel picking up the victory and his tag team partner James Lee will be in competition later on the night against the another half of the Nightmare Connection Tag Team Champions Landon Kelly. Let's see if Landon can pull up the victory or will it, the Awakening continue to pick up the W's for the night seeing as they couldn't pick up the W's last weekend. Let's go on to the next match. And speaking of which, there is a special stipulation again in this match. As we will see a SCW Cradle to the Grave rematch between the Nightmare Connections, Ray Rush taking on Hacksaw Leo Simmons in a qualifier match for the Ascension ladder match. Now, for those who are newer to SCW every year, our pay-per-view that we have coming up at the end of the month, SCW Ascension, we have a ladder match to determine who will have a future title shot for the SCW World Championship. The man who brings, like the man who climbs that ladder, pulls down that briefcase, gets a shot at the SCW World Champion, whether that be Sebastian or someone beat Sebastian down the road, that person gets a guaranteed title shot. And today we have our first qualifier match here between the two. Can the Nightmare Connection be represented or will it be breaking next time for Leo Simmons? Let's get down to the ring. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Brotherhood from Helsinki, Finland. Weighing in at 275 pounds, the Reaper, Ray Rush. Ray Rush walking down to the ring right now after suffering a loss to Leo Simmons in SEW's first ever syndicate strong style match which was a wild match no pinfalls only submissions or knockouts is the way you win that match and unfortunately looks like ray rush is lights was knocked out via leo simmons and operation doomsday but both men have a like have eyes on the prize and his opponent from new orleans louis Weighing in at 271 pounds, Hacksaw Leo Simmons. And keeping your eyes on the prize, Leo Simmons continues to be impressive in his debut run, momentarily looking to probably take out his uh, take out like take out members of the Nightmare Connection, starting with Ray Rush, but in an impressive contest at. Cradle to the grave, Leo Simmons put it away, Ray Rush. Of course, knocking him out, winning the first ever Syndicate Strong Style match. But the, it looks like the rivalry between these two won't end anytime soon as both of these men will try to qualify for the Ascension Ladder match here going forward. Will Ray Rush end up picking a win or will Leo Simmons continue 
his dominance. And here we go. The bell has rang. And Ray Rush looking to take it to Leo early. And with a takedown. But no follow-up. But Leo Simmons capitalizes on the non-follow-up. And so does Ray Rush. Like I said, both these big meaty men are facing each other. And Ray Rush with a knee strike going for the pin. Only kick out at one. Leo Simmons has been very impressive since his debut here in SCW. Having, while winning his matches, having losing against Nightmare Connection captain and cult leader, some call him. Not Kevin Youngblood in an de impressive debut against the main event, like in the main event. But now Leo Simmons is looking to continue to make a name for himself. However, it will not be against Ray Rush as Ray Rush looking to get the momentum here back on his side. And Ray Rush coming back from being on the shelf. This man, like the young man, continues to try to be a force within the Nightmare Connection, but things haven't gone his way as of late, probably underestimating Leo Simmons. And it looks like he's not doing that again today as he proceeds to mount and palm strike Leo Simmons here. And Leo Simmons going back and forth. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for tuning in to SCW Showdown here Saturday, choosing us, watching us here, or even to, like, or even tuning into other avenues. We appreciate you. Again, our main event of the evening is a fatal four-way for like to see who gets a shot next week at Landon Kelly's television SCW television championship. As you will see, Hannibal Hatcher taking on Lil Bill. Dr. Antonio Hurt and the natural Isaac Murphy. Each man must be eliminated before there is a winner until there was one man left standing. And both these men now here proving that no one should be standing as both these men are violently going after each other. And Ray Rush continues to bring the pain to Leo Simmons as much as him. Both men want to be in that Ascension ladder match. And let me tell you folks, that ladder match has made people here in SCW. Climbing that ladder, winning that, like having the opportunity to win, to get a title shot and possibly win it can make or break careers here in SCW. As we see here, Ray Rush coming down and continuing to keep Leo Simmons down both newcomers to SCW here definitely can make strides in that Ascension ladder match men like Jay Omega Kevin Youngblood Joe West Dallas Love all men have been in that lat ladder match and has made their way to possibly becoming champion but who we will find out who will be our first representative in that ladder match and it, it could be the nightmare connection looking to be on the board there is ray rush going for a submission maneuver against leo simmons will this be it will leo tap will leo tap and it looks like leo breaks out of it with the strength sheer strength for the former olympian and ray rush taking it to leo but leo fighting back like i said both these both these men have been super impressive here in SCW. Ray Rush being earlier also down for a match of the year candidate as him and Jay Omega from Malice in Wonderland has been proven to be one of the matches of the year here. But let's see if this will be also included in the match of the year as we see Leo Simmons taking the leg out from Ray Rush. Leo Simmons could be going for it. Oh my God. Oh, he hits it. Could he be setting up? Could he be setting up for the Operation Doomsday? No, he's pulling Ray Rush away with the two. Kick out at two. He thought that Fred Hampton driver put away Ray Rush, but he could be trying to go for that Operation Doomsday here. Which, again, the Operation Doomsday put away Ray Rush, knocked him smooth out. A cradle to the grave, but Ray Rush was going to do everything in his power to not be hit by it. And what's Ray Rush got planned here? Oh my God, what a knee strike! Leo Simmons just gets right up. 
Oh my god, what's Ray Rush got planned here? Plants him! Sheesh! My goodness! What a stomp here from Ray Rush. And a power bomb! What? Just Jesus! Oh my god, the sheer strength from Ray Rush and Leo Simmons could be out! Leo Simmons could be out. Can we have our first man in the Ascension ladder match? One, two, kick out at 2.9999. Ray Rush thought he had put away Leo Simmons with that strike. And what's Ray Rush got planned here? Doesn't matter. Leo Simmons scouts it. And Leo scouting that maneuver. And Ray Rush... Oh my god, what a knee, what a face buster for the knee. Leo Simmons doing what he can. You got to give it to the big man. He has been surviving everything Ray Rush has been throwing at him. And oh my god, what is Leo Simmons doing? I have all, holy sh, is that a super operation doomsday? He hits it. And Ray Rush could be out. Oh. Roll break and Leo Simmons too too horny for the pin it seems and did not see Ray Rush get closer to the ropes and Leo Simmons doing what he can now to keep Ray Rush down. Ray Rush may have dodged a massive bullet because that super operation doomsday should have put him away but the lack of ring awareness from Leo Simmons keeps Ray Rush in this match. And Ray Rush looking to take the leg out of Leo Simmons here. My word. Again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to SCW Showdown. You can see us here every Saturday, 1 p.m. Eastern, 12 Central. Unless told otherwise, we are here every Saturday, 1 p.m., but our season will be ending as Ascension will be the last pay-per-view of the year and our last stream of the year as we get into the holidays. And my God, Ray Rush tries to a spring. A, a, he tries an outside dive and misses completely, and Leo Simmons is taking full advantage. Smart man is Leo Simmons, but Ray Rush gets up these two men massive men we're sitting here bringing on the pain oh my god another knee buster from Ray Rush and Ray Rush has got to get Leo Simmons back into the ring and Ray Rush could end this match as he continues to mount Leo here and plant him with these four strikes the former MMA fighter, Ray Rush, showing his abilities. But again, the former Olympian getting out of it. And this contest has been up and is an up and down contest. My word. And Leo Simmons going for the going for going for a submission maneuver. He's got it. He's got it cinched in. He's got it cinched in. Will he tap? Ray Rush taps. Ray Rush taps. Leo Simmons is your first man in the Ascension ladder match. My goodness. The rookie continues to break your neck and put on these matches for everyone to see. And Leo Simmons is one man not to be messed with here in SCW. My goodness, what a match. These two keep going on and on. He tapped out to, I, I call it the Steiner recliner. Shades of the Steiner recliner with him wrenching back. Or camel clutch. Here Me personally, winner, crazy match. Leo Simmons. Leo Simmons picks up the dub against Ray Rush. And that's two times he has put away the Reaper as he does not fear him, it seems. My goodness, what a match. 
But the Nightmare Connection not starting off a good night tonight here at SCW Showdown. Speaking of which, we have a rematch from SCW Cradle to the Grave as the fallout from SCW's Cradle to the Grave continues as Joe West will be facing the new SCW World Champion, Sebastian. And Sebastian having some choice words for Joe West. However, it seems that a light of respect here is starting to show up as both men have took each other to a limit. And Sebastian, however, coming out on top in these long in this long rivalry but is there some sort of brotherhood starting here one can only know let's get down to the ring and see what's happening ladies and gentlemen when the screen goes gold it's a sight to behold straight from the trailer parks of Doom it is Golden Joe West who even though there is no gold around his waist he still has a smile on his face the following contest is scheduled for one fall making his way to the ring from Jacksonville Florida weighing in at 213 pounds Goldman, Joe West. Joe West making his way down to the ring. Sitting here. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a quick break here. But stay tuned. We will be right back.
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for returning, but we have some interesting developments here as James Lee is walking out after attacking Sebastian and taking his and took Sebastian's newly won SCW World Championship to face Joe West. What the hell is going on? We just saw the Awakening jump. Sebastian on the outside. Cameras is cut. Sorry, that was during the commercial break. And James Lee is now walking down the ring with, with a title belt that does not belong to him. What the hell is going on around here? And he's, he's even told the announcer to inform him that he is world champion. I, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what the hell is going on. I, I don't know. I am baffled. All I know is our champion was attacked by the Awakening, and James Lee ended up taking this, and now we have an impromptu contest, which is insanity, because James Lee is supposed to take on Landon Kelly tonight. But it looks like we we just having a different match here. It's Joe West looking to take on James Lee. And I, what is going on? Where the hell is e, where the hell is Ian Jacobs or GM to make sense of this? It's like he's Ja Rule and trying to explain. And James Lee is just making a farce of whatever is going on in Ace in SCW here, taking on Joe West. What the hell? What brash tactics by the awakening cowardly tactics? Because always James Lee finds a way to weasel his in, weasel his way into situations that he has no business being in. He's done this for the He's done this for the SCW World Championship title before with him and Joe West going back and forth only for him to squeeze in to get in the match between him and Joe West and James and JT Money. I am furious, folks. James Lee is, is just a slime ball, a snake in the grass, attacking Sebastian, taking his belt, and having a match an impromptu match against Joe West pretending that he's the world champion. But now, if anything, it's looking like he is avoiding his match against Landon Kelly. And I got to say, folks, I have no idea what's going on. No idea. As Sebastian was supposed to make the show, but he was taken out by James Lee. And it doesn't matter. Catalina Wine Mixer to James Lee. We got a pinfall here. One, two, kick out at two. What in the hell is going What in the fresh hell is going on? And we got a white. Can we get us get a white trash pass here? Oh, no. James Lee avoids it. Again, these two. These two know each other so well with James Lee coming out on top mentally but Joe West actually leaving with the W's here when they matter James Lee with an L4 on shot to the back of Joe West's head and James Lee going to the top rope touch the sky he hits it one two Kick out at two. Of course, James got to know you can't put away Joe West this way. And I got to tell you, folks, James Lee might be the most calculating, most disrespectful wrestler here. Will we, can we have the measuring stick? Measuring stick delivered to Joe West. And my God, is he going to go for another touch the sky? He is. Touch the sky and it's blocked. Joe West had that scouted. Joe West had that scouted, and I thought Joe was done. But it looks like James Lee has been busted open. Sebastian, from what I'm hearing in my headphones, Sebastian is now getting 
is now being looked at by medical staff. And has been taken to a local hospital facility. What the hell? And I, I don't know what to make of this match, folks. I'm trying to, I don't even know if it's an actual match. Yes, there's, yes, there's a bell and there's a ref, but I don't even know if this is an actual factual contest, but I hope Joe West puts away the disrespectful James Lee. It's James Lee has done enough here to weasel his way, and Joe West could be setting up for a white trash bash, and he hits it. One, two, kick out at two. My goodness, the chat is the chat has no idea what the hell is going on either. But we know both these men again have these contests, and oh my God, can we see the Mr. Grand Slam combo? No, James Lee. Let's start him reversed it. Oh my God, that's the first time I've seen someone reverse the Mr. Grand Slam. James Lee with the standing frog splash. James Lee is taking it to Golden Joe. Oh my goodness. And Golden Joe coming from a hell of a contest at Cradle in the Great Cradle to the Grave from a three stages of hell, only making it to two. Looks like we have another measuring stick. Measuring stick bulldog and it's down. One, two, three. Your winner, impromptu winner, James Lee. What a scoundrel. James Lee had this calculated and planned to start something here with Golden Joe and Sebastian putting away both men. And James Lee, I can't say he picked up an actual victory over Go Golden Joe West. However, he did Here pick a he did beat him James even if Lee. this match doesn't count. My goodness, you can hear the boos rain down on James Lee as the main event proves that he is the guy that should be front, like front and center when it comes to SCW. My word, what a damn scoundrel. Ladies and gentlemen, again, we're gonna take another commercial break, but we will be right back. Thank you again. Gotta go pay some bills.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to SCW Showdown with a crazy turn of events. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Brotherhood from the pits of hell. Weighing in at 262 pounds, one half of the Tag Team Champions, Landon Kelly. With a crazy turn of events, Landon Kelly, or Mr. Kelly Two Belts, makes his way down to the arena to take on an opponent because James Lee and Angel of the Awakening have hightailed it out of the arena to avoid any backlash between Joe and anyone else. He is taken, they have dipped. They, they are gone from the building, but the show must go on. And Landon Kelly stated that he will take on anyone in the back as an open challenge. And I don't think he's going to like this challenger. And his opponent from the 70s, weighing in at 229 pounds, Mr. Amazing. Half man, half amazing answers Landon Kelly's challenge as his Landon Kelly's former opponent, James Lee, skedat ran, took his ass off from the SCW arena to take on to avoid any backlash that he might have faced coming from Landon Kelly or if Joe West came to after their match. But now it looks like Landon Kelly. Again, continue to be the fighting champion that he is. Now, this is a non-title match due to the like due to the situations, but it looks like he will be taking on the man from the seven from the seventies, half man, half amazing, and Landon. I gotta say, bud, job bless, job bless. The bell rings and here we go. This will be an uh, interesting exhibition contest as we see Landon Kelly taking on Half Man, Half Amazing, an SCW favorite here. And Half Man goes up to the top rope. Go for a splash and Landon reads it. Landon reads it. And Landon, not a fan of Half Man, Half Amazing as he... As Landon tries to do what he can to put this weird man, the funky man from the 70s away. Landon's never been a fan of his. All, all the way going back, these two know each other. And Landon does everything he can to avoid him. Landon dishing out the punishment to Half Man Half Amazing. And from what I've heard, James Lee was going to leave with the SCW title in hand. But as he was being chased away to the back, we got a pinfall. One, two, kick out at two. As he was chased away from the back, he dropped the SCW championship, and GM Ian Jacobs will be giving that back to Sebastian. And Half Man, Half Amazing. Could we see another upset? Because last time we see Half Man, Half Amazing in the ring, he took on Buck Nasty and defeated Buck Nasty in a crazy upset will he do what he can again will he have that 70s magic and put away the SCW television champion Landon Kelly only time will tell as half man battling back getting the crowd on his side and half man pulling Landon away from the ropes he could be going for a pinfall here or a submission no Going for that funky leg drop. He hits it. One, two, kick out at two. Landon has bit off, look, he probably took this open challenge and bit off more than he could chew here. Land, and now Half Man going up, for, going up to the top rope. Could we see that flashback cutter? Oh, oh, another reversal. That flashback cutter gets reversed. Ow! 
Oh, melatonin shot. Melatonin shot delivered. One, two, kick out of two. Half man is still awake. Half man is still awake. And Landon just dropping all of his big man weight onto half man here. And a lot of the fans are wondering, a lot of the, and I even see fans in the chat saying that if Landon loses this match against Half Man, Half Amazing, Half Man should get a title shot. Again, that is all up to Ian. That is all up to GM Ian Jacobs. As we get, oh, bad dreams delivered to Half Man. One, two, three, oh, 2.9999. 9, 9. Half man's dreams continue as Landon just blocks any of all head. Oh my God, what a forearm shot from Landon Kelly. This match isn't a title match of sorts and Landon going for a submission maneuver. He's got it locked in. Will half man tap? Will half man tap here? It's wrenched back. He's got it locked in. But Halfman and Landon lets Halfman out. My goodness. I would have never seen that. Oh, no. It doesn't matter. Another bad dreams. Bad dreams delivered. And Landon hits Halfman with another bad dreams. One, two, three. Your winner, Landon. Kelly and ladies and gentlemen the dreams of half man half amazing looking to get a shot at that television championship might have just ended and turned into a nightmare because Landon Kelly picks up the victory what a contest what a fighting champion Landon Kelly picking up the victory. Again, his opponent was supposed to be James Lee, but James Lee forced himself into a match against Joe West, taking, knocking out Sebastian, taking his SCW championship, walking down the ring with it, beating Joe West in a match that did not count. And now we see... Landon Kelly taking on an open challenge. But ladies and gentlemen, more on that next week as we will have a fallout as the fallout of Cradle to the Grave continues as our main event of the evening is a fatal four-way to determine who will get a shot at Landon Kelly's television championship next week here an SCW showdown. It will be the natural Isaac Murphy taking on Hannibal Hatcher, Little Bill, and Dr. Antonio Hurt. One of these four men will be the one man standing after this match and will be facing Landon Kelly next week for that television championship. And folks, what a crazy, crazy Saturday we have here. As James Lee and the Awakening have just pretty much came up Millhouse. Not only did Ain not only did Adrian Angel pick up the win against Alex Perez, but James Lee weaseled his way into a match, attacking Sebastian, taking his title, walking down the like walking down the ramp to take on Joe West in his place, beating Joe West by reversing the mis reversing the Mr. Grand Slam. Hitting the like hitting the measuring stick and touch the sky, putting this man away. What a crazy, crazy match. But let's get into our main event, folks. I can't wait. Making his way to the ring from Queens, New York, 
weighing in at 248 pounds, Hannibal Hornage Hatcher. Mr. 3H makes his way down to the arena after beating Dr. Antonio Hurt in a tables match at Cradle to the Grave. But now this high-flying hitman gets his chance to be the next man up in challenging for that television championship. This man is wearing gold today, but will he be able to wear gold around his waist soon enough? Time will tell as this fatal four-way match will start off kicking off. But of course, here we have the fan favorite. And his opponents, first from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 159 pounds, the strong man, Little Bill. The wild man from the Badlands of North Carolina makes his way down to the ring in this fatal four-way. Blue Bill Hive, stand up. As you see this man looking to get his comeback here to get that television championship around his waist. Will it come back home to Little Bill? But we don't know. Because he's got three other men to beat. And here comes one man he did beat recently in a first blood match. And you hear the boos rain down as the natural Isaac Murphy makes his way down to the and arena. From Greensboro, North Carolina, weighing in at 266 pounds, the natural Isaac Murphy. Isaac Murphy taking that devastating loss, an upset loss against Bill. After dominating Bill for the past month, raining hell down on that man's parade, he gets his comeuppance as Bill makes him bleed at cradle to the grave. But right now with the, like right now with everything being so high, with the stakes, with the stakes being as high as they are, all four of these men will get an opportunity as if they win this match, they will face Landon Kelly next week for this television championship. And I got to tell you, Giza's favorite son may have an opportunity here to continue his rise to the top that he thinks that he should be at. But grand delusions of grandeur keep coming for this man. And I got to say, folks, I'm not one too pleased with his actions as of late, but it'd be crazy for me to say that he wouldn't be able to win this match, all things considered. With the natural ability that he has, the speed, the size, and the strength, he may come away with this victory. However, the doctor is and in from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 238 pounds, Dr. Antonio Hunt. STD Hive, stand up, get those STD chants going as the super tough doctor, Dr. Antonio Hurt, makes his way down to the arena. And he, ladies and gentlemen, is possibly my favorite to win this match. However, he did not win his tables match this past weekend at Cradle to the Grave. We see that he gets another opportunity to get at something that has been eluding him since his arrival here at SCW, and that is a championship. As the doctor looks to put away three men, one of which is a good friend of his, Will that friendship put a be, be put aside for golden opportunities? We shall see. Ladies and gentlemen, again, this is a fatal four-way, but a fatal four-way eliminator. The one man, the last man standing here in this match will be facing Landon Kelly for the SCW Television Championship here next week on SCW Showdown. And here we go, ref rings the bell. And all four men are going at each other. And looks like the friendship 
may have ended as Bill goes right after a doctor, Antonio Hurt. And Bill, both men respect each other, but they know it is what it is. And Bill taking out, trying to take out his good friend, the doctor. And we got a pinfall already. One, two, kick out at two. As Hannibal Hatcher tries to put away Isaac Nerf, Isaac Murphy on top, and Hannibal goes for a springboard moonsault and misses. Again, the reason why I keep giving props to Isaac Murphy here is because if you don't, if you don't realize, if a lot of you newcomers may not have known, the last time we did a fatal four-way eliminator match. Isaac Murphy was in it, and it's also won, nominated for match of the year here in SCW. And Isaac Murphy left as the victor of that match. But right now, Isaac Murphy and Bill are on the outside, and it's back to Hannibal and the Doctor back in the ring. And the Doctor taking on a familiar opponent as he throws him out to the outside. And again, this is all about endurance outlasting your three other men and also taking advantage of any opportunities you may see here as Bill and and the doctor go for a double team move here Annabelle I again the friendship is still there and oh my god here comes Isaac Murphy with a German suplex on Bill pandemonium is on the outside and the doctor walks back into the ring. The doc and just everything going crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, you are now watching the main event of the evening is a fatal four is a fatal four-way eliminator match as the winner will take on Landon Kelly for the SCW championship. As you see Isaac Murphy on the outside of red, Lil Bill. Running from the ring, Hannibal and Dr. Antonio Hurt. All, all four men on the outside. The eliminations haven't started. And Bill going right, taking it right back to Isaac Murphy. The rivalries continue here. All four men have met each other in a match previously on Cradle to the Grave with Hannibal defeating Dr. Antonio Hurt in a tables match. And Isaac Murphy losing to Little Bill in a first blood match. All four men are familiar with one another, but again, they have to put aside their differences. Or actually, I excuse me, they actually have to come together now to put each other away and friendships be damned. We will see what's happening here as Hannibal goes for a reversal against the doctor. The doctor goes for a knee strike and Bill on the outside taking it to Isaac Murphy. But Isaac pops right back up. And Isaac just throwing Bill around and oh my god! What a sick what a maneuver on the inside! The doctor has got Hannibal tied up in what looks like a cattle mutilation. Locked in. And he does and Hannibal doesn't tap, but he could be out. Can we have our first elimination here? One, two, three! Hannibal Hatcher has been eliminated, and this could be bad for Isaac Murphy. But what is this? Isaac Murphy and, and Dr. Antonio Hurt with a double team move on Little Bill. The doctor taking out Bill, and now Isaac Murphy coming out on top. The doctor eliminating Hannibal Hatcher here. By locking in his submission and lock, and apparently Hannibal passed out. The ref didn't call it. The doctor let the pin loose as called as he went to call the three. And Bill is getting towards the doctor. And again, these two are close friends. However, in this match, there is no friends. There are only opportunities. And the doctor and Bill are looking to capitalize on those opportunities. But meanwhile. You have the natural in the ring. You want to talk about capitalizing on opportunities. This man does nothing but capitalize on them. And Isaac goes for a back elbow drop against Dr. Antonio Hurt. 
and the doctor going after Isaac and Bill. What's the doctor got? What's the doctor got planned here? The doctor! Oh my God! Malpractice hit on Bill. Malpractice hit on Bill, and when we have our second elimination, when we have our second elimination, one, two. No, kick out of two. Bill Hive, stand up. Bill is still here. Kicking out of the malpractice. What's the doctor got planned? Oh, it doesn't matter. Bill throws both men into the corner. And then he throws the doctor into Isaac Murphy. And the doctor's rolled out of the ring. And Bill going after Isaac Murphy, picking up the scraps while the doctor is down. Could we see the trap delivered here? What's Bill got planned? Bill putting Isaac in the corner. Bill going up for a top maneuver. Could it be a Hurricane Rana? No. The Bulldog from the top planting Isaac Murphy, and that could be it, folks. Oh, no. Bill setting him up for the trap. Bill setting up. He hits it. The trap against Isaac Murphy. Can he put him away? One, two, three. Oh. 2.99999 Isaac Murphy kicks out of the trap and Bill tries to go for it again the doctor trying to take out his friend does he know it's because if he sees Bill as a threat to his title to, to his title hopes I know these two are taking each other out and B now Bill rolls out of the ring it is up to the doctor and Isaac are now the only two who are left in the ring the doctor is a looks like a man with a plan here. And he's going for that cattle mutilation, but gets a rope break. And the doctor could be going for a pinfall here, putting away Isaac Murphy. Will this be it? One, two, kick out at two. The doctor has to do more to put away the natural here. The natural could be out on Dream Street. We got the checkup. We had to check up, oh, like European uppercut, but he missed Isaac Murphy. Looks like the momentum has shifted. Isaac Murphy taking it to the doctor, and these two have had a bitter rivalry going forward as long as we can remember. And Isaac, if he puts away the doctor here, it may look perfect for Isaac as Bill is someone, that, is someone Isaac thinks he can handle, and he knows he sees the doctor as a threat. Bill with a Hurricane Rana. Try to put Isaac away. We got a pinfall. One, two, kick out at two. All three men. And Isaac Murphy rolls out of the ring, and now it's just Bill and the doctor rolling around. Will, will Bill actually put the doctor away, or will the doctor be able to stretch out his partner and Bill sees this tosses the doctor down this is a wild match the doctor goes for a big boot Bill blocks it and Bill blocking everything that the doctor is throwing at him you gotta you gotta think here folks this might be a sign of respect and Bill just throws the doctor over the top rope over his shoulder and what's Bill got planned Bill going to the top rope the wild man with the splash and it blocked blocked big blocked by Dr. Antonio Hurt and hurt, stretching it, stretching his, stretching his friend out, outside of the ring. Will the doctor do what he do what he needs to do and put little Bill away, or will Bill shock the world and put away his friend? But Bill with the hurricane around a reversal, and Isaac Murphy now back into the match. And Bill with the reversal on Isaac Murphy. And Isaac just scouts that. Sorry about that, folks. Impromptu. <laughs> Let the controller die. We are back. And the doctor, both men are down. Does he pin Isaac or does he go after and no, he goes after Isaac, and with a rope break, the doctor could pin Isaac Murphy. 
The doctor is going to put away one, two, three. The doctor puts away Isaac Murphy with his second elimination. And now it's just down to him and Bill. One of these men will be facing Landon Kelly next week. And my money might actually be on the doctor. As the doctor stretching out Bill. My word. These two former partners, former like friends, you got to think both these men are taking it to each other because they want that title opportunity. T Bill wants another shot at becoming TV champion, becoming the first two-time television champion here in SCW. Wow. Dr. Antonio Hurt wants that opportunity to become his first title that he wins here in SCW. And the doctor throws Bill into the corner. Reverse that. Throws him back in the corner. He could be going for that checkup. That checkup into just a, a knee bust. It's like a knee buster. And we could see another submission maneuver. And he got it locked in. Bill has nowhere to go. Bill has nowhere to go. And Bill taps out. Your winner, Dr. Antonio Hurt. He will be facing Landon Kelly next week for that television championship. And oh boy, that match is going to be crazy. Here is your winner, Dr. Antonio Hunt. The doctor putting away with three straight eliminations putting away Hannibal Isaac Murphy and his former partner Lil Bill away in this match my goodness will the doctor be able to cash in this momentum against the Nightmare Connection Zone Landon Kelly for that SCW television championship we will find out next week folks thank you for tuning in we will see you next weekend goodbye folks have a good one